So when you guys are doing long division, there's a couple things I want you guys to understand. That's why I decided to do a problem that looks like this. So you guys can kind of go back through the algorithm. When you guys are having trouble with long division, again, it's just an algorithm. It's a step-by-step -step process that we use to divide. It doesn't matter if it's numbers. It doesn't matter if it's polynomials. Basically, there's a couple things. The main important thing I want you guys to understand is what you're dividing by is your divisor. And what you're dividing into is your dividend. OK? So I'm going to use that vocabulary often in this class. I'm going to say, hey, here's your divisor. Here's your dividend, and so forth. And then obviously, the answer is what we call our quotient. OK? So how are you about to go through this process? Well, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take our two numbers. And instead of dividing them into them, we're just going to work into, we're just going to go by value. So we say, does 32 divide into 3? No. So then we go to the next value, 5. Does 32 divide into 5? 35, sorry. Yes, it divides into there one time. So you see how many times it divides into it. Then you take that quotient and you multiply it back by your divisor. So 1 times 32, you need to take test. Um, I'm just going to sit back over there. 1 times 32 is going to be 32. Then subtract the rows. And this is where a lot of students, where is all my markers? People are stealing my stuff. I used to have blue. No, I wanted my blue. There it is. So now we subtract the rows. When subtracting the rows, I get 3. Now, 32 does not divide into 3. So I bring down the next place value. Next number is 38. Does 32 divide into 38? Yes. Yeah, it goes in through there again one time. Then again, I take 1 times 32. That gives me again 32. And then again, I subtract the two rows. And now this time, I get 6. 32 does not divide into 6. So now I bring down the 7. And does 32 divide into 67? Yes. It divides into there four times. Sorry, 22 times. 2 times 32 is going to give me a 64. Then again, I subtract the rows. And that gives me a 3. Okay. Um, then 32 does not divide into 3. There's no other place values. So if you wanted to continue the process, you would put like a decimal point, bring down a 0, bring down another 0. You could do it with decimals. We don't need to go that far. Um, but this would also, if it doesn't evenly divide and there's a number at the end, we call that the remainder. Anybody have any questions on the algorithm for long division? I have to go through it every year because students forget it. Yes? It's, well, you are going to have different. I mean, it all depends on the question. Um, sometimes a question might say, sometimes a question might say, rewrite this as a product or rewrite this. If I was going to rewrite this problem as a product, what I would say would be 112 times 32 plus 3 over 32. We'll talk more about this later. But do you guys agree with me? 11 or 112 times 32 plus the remainder over your divisor gives you 3587. It's just like me saying this. 4 divided by 12 goes in there three times. 3 times 4 equals 12. Right? If I was going to say rewrite that as like a, a product, you could just do the same thing like that. We'll talk more about